the other form of redness is that uh, what are conjunctivitis. This conjunctivitis or red eyes or pink eyes is a common condition that is, is there in a crowded environment when there is any susceptibility of the child and these conditions happens with a acute redness also in some situations and there will be discharge of the eye from the corners morning time the child wakes up the eyes are sticky it's difficult to open so use warm water and clean the eyes and then uh, open the eyes and then check out keep washing the eyes in those situations now this redness of eyes because of conjunctivitis has a lot of discharge pain swelling of the eyelid then patient cannot open the eyes properly they can't open the sunlight also so these kind of uh, symptoms are present in the early stage in a mild form and as if you don't take treatment it will keep on increasing and if in, in some situation to involve the cornea the, the black portion cause white deposits or opacities that cause much severe form of conjunctivitis which not allow that to go to that level so treat the child by showing to the eye doctor and use the appropriate antibiotic drops or the ointment that the doctor gives use them judiciously and as per the instructions frequently wash the eyes with the normal water see that the child doesn't rub the eyes more and see that the child doesn't uh, touch too many objects in the house because this kind of conjunctivitis due to infection by virus or the madras eye or the pink eye what, what we say can spread from one person to other easily especially by contact with objects that is touched by the infected person or infected child so see that the hands are clean of the child with the wash with soap and water or you also whenever you happen to touch the just see that you wash your hands so hand hygiene is very important in avoiding spreading of this kind of infections so other things are that you can use cold compress also for the child in case of these kind of situations happens if one eye is involved then it is uh, it can involve the other eye also so don't touch the other eye if the same thing happens to the other eye the same drops or medications can be used to the other eye also and if the symptoms does not subside even after five days or seven days of treatment for any kind of infection or conjunctivitis please report to your eye doctor uh, uh, judiciously then avoid bright lights for these children you can wear a cooling glass for those kind of situations so that the child is more comfortable and these kind of conjunctivities can also be associated with cold cough rashes and all so you have to consult your pediatrician also to see if there is any other associated symptoms uh, which needs uh, treatment for the for that also as far as eye is concerned red eye is a common condition in children don't worry we have to find out the cause actually if it is any a sudden cause of uh, redness then we have to see if there is any foreign body or injury please talk to the child carefully and be polite with the child so that uh, you can elicit the history otherwise child will tell a lot of lies because the parents may scold so parents and their grandparents relatives be very careful in uh, taking the history in a child especially young child where there is any injury or any accidental poking of eyes or any foreign body in the eyes so after taking history wash the eyes and report your eye doctor so that the treatment is started early and the uh, and the effective outcome is there sometimes children tend to rub at night or any other things because of those uh, sleeplessness or allergy see that you uh, take care of all those allergens or the pollens or the surrounding dusty environment and give an amicable environment for a child so that the allergy is a very common thing which happens in the eyes so avoid those things and then hand hygiene is also important avoid rubbing of the eyes Frequent checking of the eyes also is important. Many times keep, children keep rubbing because of the refractive error also. So the child cannot see and they keep touching, uh, poking and then we have to just address that number if there is any refractive error or the number is there we have to check and that is possible only when you come for eye checkup. Now the other symptoms that or the things that we have to see is that children can keep coughing or suddenly rub their eyes they cause subconjunctival hemorrhage, sudden onset redness in one area and that spreads. So that should be uh, taken care of seriously also some, some children they have the blood dis disorders so they bleed profusely so they tend to rub and sudden redness can happen so that called subconjunctival hemorrhage that needs to be treated again on priority then all these things have to be uh, taken care be wary of steroids don't worry about steroids that's a very very wonderful drug but should be used judiciously and under supervision of a doctor take care thank you